Hello everyone, welcome back, we got stuff from my car wars channel. The topic of today's video is about how to find the engine displacement of any engine, regardless of size or who made it. To be able to find it, you're going to need a few pieces of information, I'm going to go over it, that way you know what they are, and you'll be able to find the displacement of any engine, whenever you want. So I'm going to bring the camera up close, so you can see this better. Let's get started. So to get started, let's start with the definition of displacement, which is also known as the cubic capacity of an engine. And that is the entire cubic volume of the engine, of all the cylinders and combustion chambers. However, as I noted right here, the manufacturers are often going to exclude the combustion chamber when providing this number. Instead, they're going to provide the swept volume of the cylinders within the piston stroke. So we're going to focus on that instead of the swept volume, instead of the entire displacement that would include the combustion chambers. And reason being, like I said, is that the manufacturers are going to give you this information when telling you what kind of engine they're selling you or what kind of engine is equipped in a particular vehicle. So we're going to go over this. To get started, you're going to need three pieces of information to find the swept volume. The first one is going to be cylinder bore, which is the diameter of the cylinder. Then you're going to need the piston stroke, which is how far the piston travels up and down every time the crankshaft rotates. That's the piston stroke. And you're going to need the pi value, which is 3.1415927. When you went to elementary, you learned this value, and I'm sure you used it a lot. So this will be a little refreshment on that. And if you were like me during those years, thinking like, when in the world am I going to need this stuff? Like, this stuff is irrelevant for real life. Well, guess what? Here it is. Automotive for a career that has nothing to do with math, so to speak, like automotive. But believe it or not, there's a lot more math in automotive than you would ever think of. So this is just an example. So now that we know that we need these to find the swept volume of the engine, now we're going to move on to an example. That way we can put these to use. So let's take a look. Okay, so to find the displacement of an engine, here's the formula. Pi divided by 4, multiplied by the square root of the bore, and multiplied by the stroke of the engine. So we're going to see if this formula is accurate. We're going to go ahead and provide an example, just like I said. To make this example more realistic, let's say that we purchased an engine from someone that removed it from a vehicle a long, long time ago, doesn't know what it is, you know, what kind of cubic displacement it has, but we want to know. So we remove the cylinder heads because we're going to put all new gaskets and we're going to inspect everything. So at that point, we measure the bore and we know that it's a four inch bore. And after we measure the bore, then we measure the stroke of the piston and we see that it's a 3.48 stroke. So with that in mind, we're going to use our formula and see how accurate it is. So the pi divided by four ends up being 0 0.78539817575, long, long number. So the square root of 4, which is our bore, then ends up being 16. 4 times 4, 16. If we multiply 16 by this number, which is the division of that by 4, so we end up with 12.56637078. Now, after that, we have to multiply by the stroke. So 3.48 times 12.56637078 equals 43.7309703.84. Long, long numbers. Now that would be the swept volume of each cylinder, but we have eight of them. So we're going to multiply it by eight. So when we multiply that by eight, we end up with 349.84776072, which it would be rounded to 350 cubic inch displacement. So there you go, this is real life example, you buy an engine, you don't know what it is, you use the formula, and bingo, now you know. And this is very important, because let's say an engine was originally at 350 cubic inch, but somebody bored the cylinders bigger, so that's going to change the displacement. It's the same block, but now it's not going to be the same displacement. And this kind of information becomes even more crucial. When you enter in restricted categories in races that they tell you that your engine displacement should only be so much, if you want to do a little tweaking, then you start playing with these numbers. How much can you bore it? Can you go with a longer stroke? And by knowing how to do it, you can stay within the rules and maximize the cubic displacement of your engine and hopefully put you on the winning circle. So there you go. All the math classes that you took in elementary and beyond, are going to be put to use here because I'm going to be having more formulas for you in upcoming videos with different examples of different things related to engines. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to find the engine displacement of any engine. 
on upcoming videos I'm going to have some more cool tutorials related to engines so don't forget to tune in thanks for watching see you next time